instead of them hunting for gay people, lesbians, who all they need is just to express their love and, you know, be happy. Why can't they put that same effort in curbing down corruption, you know, providing uh, service deliveries and uh, making Uganda a better place than <laughs> chasing for gay people who are just after, you know, love. Good afternoon, everyone. The weather is nice and lovely. Well, this is your homeboy once again, Larry, of the Art and Proud African LGBTI uh, YouTube channel. It's about 23 degrees this afternoon, and I'm being joined by my friends who are here this afternoon to share their inspiring stories. Please come along as you hear them. Thank you. My viewers will be interested to knowing you. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, viewers. My name is Mariam Semwanga, and I'm a refugee in the United Kingdom. Thank you. And? Hello, viewers. My name is Helena Theno. I live in Oxford, and I'm a refugee in England as well. Thank, Thank you very much for coming Thank to the you. program. Miriam. I'm going to start with you. Yeah. Our viewers are always interested in hearing inspiring stories from people like you. Yeah. What do you have for us this afternoon? Yeah, um, I will say that um, I got my asylum. I was granted asylum in 2018. Yeah, I was so happy. Um, out and proud. Helped me a lot. I thank them a lot. I'm doing social work. At the moment, at Middlesex University, I'm happy. What can I say? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. The transition from being an asylum seeker to being granted. Yeah. What was it like? Yeah, I would say that I was helped a lot by the Refugee Council in Stratford. They did help me a lot. They helped me to get accommodation, me and my son. And they helped me furnish, furnish my house. Okay. They put everything in my house for me. You talked about studying at Middlesex Uni. Can you talk us through that? Yeah, always my dream was going back to school when I was seeking asylum in this country. So when I got my asylum, I wanted to do social work to help people who have been through what I've been through, to help people who are suffering. So I decided to do social work so that I can help people like me. Right. So I went to Middlesex University. I'm now going to my second year in September. Right. Yeah, doing social work. During um, the lockdown, how was the academics like? Oh, uh, we are not going to school. We just we started on through online. online. Yeah, we we don't usually go to class. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing that part with us. Mm. Hi there. Would you mind introducing yourself to our viewers once more, please? Okay. Uh, hi, Larry. Uh, my name is Helen Athiano. I live in Oxford, in Whitney, to be specific, and I am a refugee in England now. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, we want to hear from you. How was it like transiting from oh. being an asylum seeker to being granted and living your life as a free person in the United Kingdom? Honestly, freedom means a lot because uh, it helps you be able to do the things that you've always dreamt dreamt about and um, so I got the news from my lawyer last year 2020 in uh, October towards the end and it was the best news ever I can imagine <laughs> yeah so um, I called the directors of uh, Out and Proud because they helped me through the journey and shared it with them and uh, we were all happy yeah um, but it comes with some challenges because that's when you again remember that uh, you had dreams before so like uh, when I came here I had uh, a degree in social work right. but since I wasn't allowed to work then so I became a bit rusty okay 
Now I had to start thinking of how to go back to school. I had to inquire from um, organizations like Asylum Welcome okay. has really helped me, uh, especially the Education and Employment Department. Okay. Yeah, uh, connect me to schools. And I've now applied for uh, a master's in child protection and uh, adult self-guarding right. uh, at New Bucks University, and uh, which will start in September. <laughs> September? Yes. Oh, that's great. So Thank you. Since that time, what have you been uh, um, doing here and there? Uh, like I said, everything is a process, really. Yeah. So you must first wait for your uh, biometrics to come. Okay. And it's not automatic that when you're granted, you know everything. So you still rely on, uh, say, like uh, the out and proud uh, directors to guide you through. You keep going back and forth, asking them, what do I do next? You know, And uh, organizations like Asylum Welcome, okay. it's in uh, Oxford. Okay. They've really been so helpful. So every time I have an inquiry, I make an appointment and they help me go through the process okay. or uh, stages. And uh, they've also helped me apply uh, for my child's okay. visa. Uh, which has been granted, oh, but uh, congratulations! <laughs> thank you. I haven't brought him back yet. All right. Hopefully, he'll come in two weeks. That's good. Yeah. That's a good news. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. I can't wait to hug. Really. <laughs> it's been very long. Oh dear. This um, pandemic that we have overcome. How did you walk through that? Yeah. Coronavirus, really, we didn't have much to do but to just follow the guidelines. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, um, get into trouble. You'd get the virus, really, and end up in hospital. Yeah. So we had to learn to live with it. And uh, thankfully, um, Out and Proud had, um, you know, ways in which we can still meet and share, which was through Zoom. And I always looked forward to those Saturdays, really. And... Uh, it was comfort for me. Mm. Yeah, it helped me a lot. Thanks. And uh, Out and Proud would normally send us vouchers to buy food or do shopping. Yeah, which saw us through that. I know Helen, yes. Miriam, both of you are from Uganda. There was this um, uh, sexual offenses bill that was being. Uh, discussed by the politicians in Uganda and recently the government of Uganda rounded up about 44 LGBT members in Uganda as someone who's been granted, who is free to live openly in the United Kingdom. What will your advice be for members of our community in Uganda? I saw that video and it really broke my heart. They looked like they had no hopes and they don't know where else to turn to. But um, my message to our leaders in Uganda is uh, for them to realize that um, it's really a basic, you know, right. Now look at me in England. I am gay from Uganda, but why is England letting me be free and enjoy myself? And yet people from my own country will not let, you know, fellow Ugandans you know, enjoy their right. Yeah, so um, I think they need to sit down and rethink and uh, move with time. You know? Yeah, life is too short that you need to be yourself and uh, the things that make you really happy. Yeah. The message from Helen this afternoon is the politicians in Uganda should move with time. Move with time and let people live their life openly the way they want to live. So, Helen, yes. you said you are studying child protection. Applying. You are applying yeah. to study child protection for a master's degree. Yeah, and adult safeguarding. Child protection and adult safeguarding. Yeah. What inspired you to apply for such? Uh, basically, why I went for that, it's because I have a background of social work already. Yeah. So, Going for masters helps me become a master in uh, that particular department or field, which is child protection and adult safeguarding. So child protection, um, when I look back in my country, it's like we don't know even what human rights means. 
like a child stays with a stepmom and uh, stepmom if they are ruthless you know they can do anything bad to the child the adults are not even cared about you know their housing you go to public places you know we don't have measures for safeguarding which made me go into that really okay yeah it will help me learn how to make uh, policies that can help people yeah, to improve especially in that area which will not be only beneficial here in the United Kingdom, it will be beneficial to people back home. Yeah, to people back home as well, yeah. Thank you very much, Helene. Yeah, well. Thank you very much, Miriam. Thank you very much, Helene. Yes, to my viewers back home, it's been interesting um, sharing this platform this afternoon with uh, Miriam and Helen. You've heard their inspiring stories. Miriam is studying social work, uh, living uh, with her son and Helen she's applying getting set to study in um, child protection and uh, adult safeguarding and she has a word for us in Uganda she's advised our politicians to move with the trend of times to do away with archaic policies allow gay men and women to live their life it's been beautiful having both of you this afternoon Please share this message, like it, like the video, comment, and subscribe. And another message for my country, they should leave people live the way they want. People are not, <laughs> they, were not they were born as they are, they were born to be gay, lesbian, they don't choose. That's how they were born. So they should leave, to li they should leave, leave them to be what they are, not. Thank you very much, Miriam. I think I have one as well. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I think a message to my uh, politicians back at home. Additional message? Yes. Um, instead of them hunting for gay people, lesbians, who all they need is just to express their love and, you know, be happy, why can't they put that same effort in cutting down corruption, you know, providing uh, service deliveries and uh, making Uganda a better place than <laughs> chasing for gay people who are just after, you know, love. To love. be loved as well, and yeah. to live their life. Live exactly, their life. yeah. Well, thank you once again, Helen. You're welcome. Thank you, Miriam. Keep liking this video. Keep commenting. Keep sharing. Subscribe to our channel and please ensure you turn on the notification button so that you can have information about new videos. I remain yours sincerely. Have a good day. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, it's an African problem. Yeah. It's an African problem. Look at the, the oh, thank you, my love. Look at the roads, look at the hospitals. Now they say COVID is coming to our country. Yeah.